sorry to uh, call you at work. Just a little thing. Did you by any chance put a sort of creepy looking door in the middle of the living room? That's what I thought. No, well, the reason I ask, um, this is a creepy looking door in the middle of the living room. Yeah, it's got blood and everything. Could be, couldn't it? <laughs> that's, that's what I thought as well. Um, I'm just going to call you back. In. Just to be clear, I'm not going to be opening that door. Okay? Come in. Yeah, no, I, I get it. You, you know, you do the spooky knock knock thing, and then I'm supposed to go, oh no, oh maybe I should open the door, or I'll say, and then what? We open some kind of dimension to hell, is it? Some demons, demon stuff? Not necessarily. No. So you're just a normal front door. A normal door that you should open. Just a normal front door in a living room. Let's have a look. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. Look, it's a good effort, really good. I, I very nearly fell for it. And you do know that you're not in a doorway, right? Wait, am I not in a doorway? No. This guy says I'm not in a doorway. I swear he has a Gareth. You do this on purpose. Can I just ask, is this like a random haunting thing or are you, is this because I killed that sacred goat on the hunter's moon? Um. I'm not really at liberty to tell you. Okay, but it's the goat. It's the goat thing. Yeah, it's a goat thing. Yeah. Well, I, I am sorry about that. You know, I was maybe driving a little bit fast and, uh, you know, it kind of just jumped out of nowhere. So, uh, oh. let me just cut out the knocking entirely. It's creepy, it's good, but, I, you know, it's not going to work. Ding dong. Oh, come on. Did you say come in? No, I, I said come on. Ah, thought I got you there. With the, uh, with the bell. That was actually me doing the doorbell sound. <laughs> yeah, I know it was you. Look, um, is there some sort of offering I can give you, you know, try and get this wrapped up? What offering do you mean? Would you like some of the sacred meat? You kept the body of the goat spawn? Yeah, it's in the fridge. Bit weird. He's, he's offering some of the forbidden meat from the ancient one? The forbidden meat, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll ask. Uh, do you have any of the blood? The blood, no, it's just I've only got the flesh. No, he's only got the flesh. It's like, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get some. Get some ready? Go on, yeah, okay. go and get it. If we don't want it, we'll just leave it. Yeah. So, by the blood of our forefathers, by the oath of the moonless night, Oh, no, that's good, actually. And the sacrifice of the living. I repay this mortal debt. Thank you. How was that? Lovely. Nice and forbidden. Great. Well, by these words and deeds, I banish thee, Paul. Oh, okay. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Hmm. It doesn't feel like I've left. No. I can tell you why. I spiked that meat with holy water. You see, I've been hunting you for a long time, demon. I killed that goat to lure you here. You walked right into my trap, and finally you are slain. Holy water doesn't kill demons. Uh, mm, yeah, pretty sure it does. No, it, uh, it binds us to Earth. So I'm trapped here with you, a bit awkward, because <laughs> you just tried to kill me, didn't you? Well, I mean, you were trying to devour my soul, in fairness. I was trying to devour your soul, yeah, so uh, guess in a way we're... Both as bad as each other? You're a bit worse. I'm a bit worse. Oh, God, this is... Uh... How long are you stuck here? What's today? Wednesday? Three lunar cycles. Ooh. Ah, that's fine. Ouch. I'd be glad of the break from me at home, I bet. <laughs> Everyone's probably having a right old laugh at me messing up again. Well, look, don't feel too bad. You know, we, we both messed up, didn't we? 
I mean, I tried to kill you. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Listen, you've probably got things to be getting on with, so um, just put a sheet over me. I won't be a nuisance. I'll just be here in my sheet. I'm gonna go make a cup of tea if you want one. Oh, was was that to me? Yes. Oh, yes, please. It's the big night. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm nervous. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're gonna be just fine. How, how do I look? Great, great, very convincing. Uh, give us a knock-knock. That's good, I, I nearly opened the door. <laughs> oh? You sure this is gonna work? It's gonna work. Thanks for everything, buddy. Right on time. Am I in the right place? It's uh, Alan Borders, Britain for Britain's party. Don't let them in. <laughs> that's right, that's the phrase. You know, it's, uh, it's not illegal to love your country. <laughs> I love that. Wonderful. Now, you said something on the phone about uh, amazing opportunity. That's right. Come in. 